Hello and welcome to Old School RuneScape in 2023 and this is a guide on crafting, like a crafting guide. So the idea is to get this uh, skill to go up and we're going to start off with a sheep shearing quest which, which should raise this to 8 very quickly. And it's right over here. We're in Lumbridge. Let's get into this. One coin. So we're going to have one coin because we're going to buy some shears. He may give you shears, but if you have one coin and you're heading this way, just going to walk right in here. There might even be some shears up there. But if not, walk in here. And right click on that guy, trade shop. I'm doing this on the Iron Man, and we're going to buy one shear. We traded our gold for that, no problem. You just click here, we're going to walk right up here. There should be a gate right there. Is it open? Nope. And the thing is, you can actually shear the sheep before talking to him. The guy for the quest is right over here. So let's go, uh, I just left click on him and shear away. Okay, that's one and we need 20. Is there somebody else shearing sheep in here? Let's see. Oh, it looks like there is somebody. Let's right click. Yeah, it's that person. Uh oh, is this guy attacking us? Let's fight him back. Maybe he got mad at us? Did I do something wrong? Alright. Come on. Oh well. Left click. I didn't right click him. Maybe he didn't like it. I sheared him too close to his toes. I don't know. But I'll see you in a little bit. We're going to actually shear all these up. Now I'm going to actually shear a bunch all the way up to the full. There we go. And I realized that some of them are rams. They look like sheep, but they're not. So we're gonna go, we're gonna just gonna climb over this, and we're gonna look for this guy over here. Let's put our running shoes on. We'll go faster. We're gonna open up this gate. There's eggs in here too. Let's uh let's change this to show up loot. So I'll type in loot with the rune light plugin. We'll put that on, and all of a sudden you can. Oh, well, there's the shears. So if you don't have shears, you could walk in here and get them. And we're going to talk to Fred the Farmer. Okay, what are you doing on my land? You're not the one who keeps uh, leaving all my gates open? Um, maybe. Uh, I'm looking for a quest. Good. For quest, actually I could do with a bit of help. Okay, <laughs> my sheep are getting mighty woolly, I saw. I had uh, much... Be, uh, much I'd be much obliged if you could shear them, and while you're at it, spin the wool for me, too. Oh, we have to do that. Bring me 20 balls of wool, and I'm sure I could sort out some sort of payment, of course. It's a small matter of the thing. What is the thing? Well, now, no one has ever seen the thing. That's why it's called the thing, because I don't know what it is, okay? Some say it's a black-hearted shapeshifter hungering for the souls of hard-working, decent folks like him. Others say it's a sheep. I hope it's just a sheep. Well, I have done it. Stand around and gossip. Are you here to shear my sheep? Yes. Yes, I am. Yes, I can do that. Good. One more thing you actually know to shear the sheep? Uh, no. Well, you're halfway there already. You just set up the shears in your inventory. Yes, I did that. Just use the sheep on the... Okay. That's all I have to do? Yes. Well, once you've collected the wool, you'll need some spinning into balls. Do you know how to spin? No. Don't worry, it's simple. In the first floor of the Lumbridge Castle. Go to the Lumbridge Castle. Road. Yep, we've been there. Spinning wheel icon in the world map, no problem. Alrighty. And can I just talk... Oh. I talk to him? I must have done that, right? And... I guess we have to do it. What are you doing on my land? Yeah, 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 I know. Let's go. I think it's going to go... We'll hop back over instead of walking around. And we're going to run right over here. Got a lot of wool here. And we'll open up the gate. And we definitely won't or we'll leave it, wait. 
wasn't us. And we're just going to walk in the back. I think it's faster to go this way in the back. Looks like some people are making a... Uh, then you just walk in the back like this. And on the first floor, this is technically the first floor, but I think it's actually on the second floor. So we'll just click there. We'll take that. Oops. We'll take this rune on the way. And it should be right here. So it's on the middle floor, the, not the first floor, the second floor, the third floor. And we'll click this. Oh, we got to open the door. And we'll click that. And ball of wool, all. So you can pick how many you want. We're just going to do this. It should start doing that. And we're getting, which is good. We're getting this skill going up. It gives us three per. So if you have 27, you're looking at uh, 91. We should get a level out of this then. How long is that going to be? Let's see. Maybe just shy of a level. We'll be close because we had a couple of other things on us. Oh, we're almost done already. And we're going to run back over there. And I will see you back over there in a second. So we ran back over here. And I just cut across this angle. It's faster than walking this way and this way, I assume. A lot of cow hides. If you're not playing the Iron Man, you can actually um, pick these up and use them for scaling up too by tanning them. We'll do that next. Uh, let's see. Talk to Fred. What are you doing on my land? I don't know. Okay, how are you doing the balls? I've got plenty of them. Give them to me. Okay. That's the last of them. You don't get these, I guess. I guess I'd better pay you then. He gave us 60 coins, a quest point, which is good, and 150 crafting EXP. Where is that? Let's find that. We're up to level 3 already. Not bad. There we go. And next up... Whoa, what happened there? Level 3. All right. Next up, we'll do the next step. Okay, so the easy part was we went up and got the, uh, sheared the sheep, got the wool, and I put extra of the spun wool up there in, in the bank. And now we're going to go after some cowhide, and that's easy to get to. We'll put our running shoes on, and we're at Lumbridge. We're just going to follow this trail right up north. You can center your map like that, and it just puts it north, points it to the north, and we're going right up here for this gate. I don't want to fight that guy. And if you're not playing the Iron Man, you can just pick this stuff right up or you could buy it. But there's tons on there. So we're going to turn this off for a second because there's too much on the screen. There we go. There. If you're not Iron Man, you could just pick it up. Otherwise, you're going to have to hunt these cows. If there's too many people around, you could use the world switcher and just pick a different world. And what I'm going to do is, I'm going to pick up a bunch of these, I'm going to see you in a second. So I just hunt these down. These these are easier to kill, so I think you can get the cow hides a little faster from them. And there it is. But on a Iron Man, I can't pick this up, see? It doesn't let me. But I can just go over here and fight that guy. So I'll see you in a little bit when I fill this up. And we have 10 gold on us for a reason. There we go, that wasn't so bad. Now we're going to head back, and I usually jump over this and cut the corner here instead of walking around. And we're going to head right over here. Now, it's going to take us more than just one full load, so what I've done is, um, I've gone back and forth. Right through here, I open up this gate, and I've gone through back and forth, and you, I usually go the, in back this way. Let's put our running shoes on. <laughs> A little better. And then I just run through the back door up to the up to the bank and put the put these in the bank and then come back and then I don't have the ten coins on me. This time we do for a reason. We're going to be heading through this gate over here to the uh, the tannery, 
And so you just run back and forth, and I've done that quite a few times, so I have a bunch of these cow hides ready to go. So we're just going to run over here with one load, and then you can do a bunch going back and forth. And you could always use this uh, spell to get back to Lumbridge right here. Just right click on this, you click here, right click on that, cast to Lumbridge. You can do that every half hour. We're going to run across here, and it takes 10 gold to get through this. If you don't have the 10 gold, you could actually kill these guys too if you don't want to run back to the bank, and they drop some gold. We're going to run right up here, and there should be like an option or something. Uh, 10 gold, yep. Yes, okay. And then if you do a quest over here, there's some quests that you could do as well, and then that makes it free. And what we're going to shoot for is, if you look at your map, there's a tannery, right? Here we are. Here's Lumbridge. There's the bridge. Right. There's, there it is. Let's go down there. It's right over here. You can always put north and south on your map. Then I hold the middle mouse button down and spin it around. Let's go in here. This is the first time I've actually tanned something. So we're going to go over to our bank. I think it costs money to tan. So let's find out. Let's find out which room it is. We're going to take a look at the map. It's this one right here. So let's going to go in here. Let's find out how much it costs. I think it's one gold, but we just used up all our gold. So if you bring more gold, you'll be in better shape. We're going to show you where the bank is too. Let's do this. Talk to Grady old friend. I'm a manufacturer of leather. I see you've brought me some hides. Would you like to tan them for you? Yeah, I would. <laughs> for free? Okay, so one coin, soft leather. We have the soft leather. We're going to go get a bunch of coins. Uh, and we're going to go right back to the bank. Let's do that. The bank should be right here. So if I brought 30, well, it's 27, 36 coins, I would have been in better shape. But it's okay, because the bank's right here. And we're going to take out these. I've been saving up by selling all the iron armor that I've been making and everything as I've leveled up my other skill. So we're going to take out... We'll take out 1,000. I guess we're rich. Not really. Iron Man, it's so hard to make money. 32,000, I think I can buy a better uh, pickaxe. I don't know what else I would buy. All right, here we go. Talk to Elias. Yep, yep. Yes, please. Yeah. Okay. Ooh, we can do hard leather. Don't know what that's for. We're going to do the soft leather. Here we go. Tan them all. Very nice. Head back over here. And one second, I'll be right back. So we walked into the area right over here. We'll put it on the map. We'll center this up to the north. We walked in, went to the tannery, went to the bank. I dropped some um, off so I had space. And then we walked over here. So we walked into the bank. And then I just walked east. And I can show you right over here. There's the bank. And I just walked right in front, right into this guy's shop. And it's the shop on the left here. We'll right click. We'll trade with him. And you're going to need a needle, which is one, uh, one silver. And we'll buy some, we'll buy some thread for right now. And then we left click on that. Click on that. It brings this up. We're just going to say all, and we're going to do the first one because we can only, let's see what we can do. We're going to click on this and armor, which is leather. We can only make that when our skill is three. We can't make this one yet. So let's do that. Let's go back to our bag. Left click, left click, all those. Let's see what it does. 13. Oh, we made a level. So we're going to have to do the clicking again. We have some gloves. If you don't have gloves, I do have leather gloves. 
you can um you can equip them then. Let's take those off for a second, remove them, and that's what they give you. They give you a little bit of defense for slash and crush. There we go. And we're gonna left click on this, left click here. I think there's a limited number of uses on the thread. We'll find out how many. I think it's five. We'll see. There, and it's gone. So we're gonna need oh a few more of these threads. So let's buy some. Right click, trade, and we'll buy five thread for five gold. That's 25 of them. We'll buy a few more. Buy 50, why not? 50 gold, okay. Now we have 250 uses. Maybe 10 would have been better. And now we're going to go this and that and that. Let's see how much it, uh, right up here, it clicks away. We're getting 14 per. Let's see. Now that's the next level five. Not bad. You can craft gold rings, and a members can craft a standard birdhouse. Not much sure what that does, but. And let's go like this. And let's see how much we get out of this one. Not bad. And then I'm going to go vendor these off at a place. Let's, I'll find that in a second. And I'm going to go back and forth, and I'm going to work on my... Uh, Get that skill up. We'll see how many, uh, I'll tell you how many different loads it takes to get from this to that. But we're gonna, the next thing we're gonna be doing, once we get the skill to seven, oop, I can't do that. We'll do the next thing up, which is right here. Armor. We're gonna be doing the boots next. I'll see you in a second. So we're in the bank, and I've ran back and forth, and I've made up, let's find out how many I did so far. Oh, 100 there, and 20, 25, so probably 140, 145 of these so far. And we're going to do the needle thing. Cross that out, left click, and we'll do all these and see what happens here. And I'm right by the bank, so I can just deposit those, and I'll sell them over time. That way, if you try to sell them all at once, you'll get less. We're up to level six now. Okay. Now we can make gold necklaces. If we can do gold like that. And then we're going to see how many it takes to do this. So this wasn't very many at all. We the 20 and a few. Just to get up to level seven is going to click through here in a second. So we're getting 14 for one. 13, 14, 13 and a half. Now let's see. Now we can craft the boots and gold bracelets. Okay. So let's try to craft a boot. We'll just do one. We'll see what happens. Before we're getting 13 and a half, we'll craft a boot. Let's see how much, much it takes. Just one. Let's do it again. I missed that. <laughs> Went by awfully quick. 14, 16, a little bit better. So we'll do that. We'll say all. And do we have leather boots on? Let's find out. I think we do. So we craft this up. And I'm going to deposit these. Oh, we're at level 8 now again. Now we can do... Bowls. Oh, that's nice. I'm not sure how to make it. Maybe with clay. And then we're going to deposit these real quick. Deposit all of those. And just to take a look at our boots, we're going to remove these. I think these are the same boots. There's no difference, right? Yep. So a little bit, but you know, plus one defense against slash and crush. So we're going to wear those. And what are we up to now? Let's see. Left click. Oh, there it is. Do all of those up. What level were we up to? Level eight. Let's see what the next level is. Armor. At nine, we can do the next one. So we're going to deposit all these. 
And at the general store, when I go to a general store, I'll just take out like five at a time of each of these for the Iron Man. That way I'll get the best gold. Or you could just sell them all and just be, you know, get rid of them. And then we're going to take out all these. Out of placeholder, we're going to withdraw. And we should be able to just um, left click and it will stop us at, not at the next, you know, right before that. Even though we're saying craft all, it'll stop us. Then we can craft those. So we're getting 16 and a half, 16, 17, so 16 and a half. I don't know why they don't just call it 16 or 17. But we're up to level 9 already. Leather cowls. Let's make the, that next. So left click. Let's see how much we get for this one. Cowls. 19. 18. So we're going up a little bit. It's a, it's best and we're getting it's only one. So we're going along. What's the next level thing? Level break for the next item. 10 and we can craft bow strings and crossbow strings. That's nice. And what do we have here? Let's take a look at this again. Armor. 11. Okay. Bam. So those are, those are going to be a, replace our gloves, maybe? Always trying to do the highest level thing because we're getting the most experience for that. We're just going to deposit these. Looks like we're going to need some more. So 140-ish is getting us this far. We'll, we'll find out how many it's going to get us. We still have a lot left, too. Deposit all. And yeah, I have a better helm on, but for magic, I guess a magic would be like a, a magic type thing. So we're going to do that. We're going to withdraw all these. And it should stop us again. Cowls. Okay, and it's on all going to stop us right there and now we can craft the next thing these let's find let's craft one find out what if, if it's an improvement let's craft one because i'm wearing the gloves so range crush i would say that's better it's only a little bit worse for his crush but the slash and the stab it's better against and we get a, a range bonus with bows so we're gonna wear those there we go and we're gonna make some more of them we're gonna switch that to all there we go and what's the next thing we can make if I click this I'm not sure it'll stop that so let's just let it do its thing I think it's the leather body so this would be an easy way to get armor right away because we just did cow hides run back and forth. And I can make oil lamps. Oh, members can make oil lamps. This is free to play. And I just did this for the extra challenge. I wanted to see what you could do in free to play. And let's go over to armor and take a look at the next step. Ooh, 14. Okay, so I'll be back in a second. I'll, I'm going to craft up more of these. Okay, so now uh, we've got our level 14 by crafting those. And it's unlocked leather armor and those hats, but I can't make those. So let's do that. We'll just do one, just to compare it. I think I have a really good armor though. Yep, but magic, it would be better off wearing this than magic, depending on what other things I have in the bank. Not bad. So we're going to do, do more of these. And we'll do all. How much are we getting? 25 now. That's nice. We started out at like 13 or 14. Oh, these are all 25s too. So it looks like I had about 140, 150. So like five or six trips of worth of... um cow hides to fill up in your bank six to be safe 
And let's deposit these. And we're going to deposit all of those and all of these. And then we'll withdraw the last one. So let's say you have six full loads. That's going to be over 150, 170, maybe five. You could do six full loads of regular tan of rawhide. And then we're going to withdraw those. And we're going to find out how far it goes. We can't make these yet. Well, let's see. Maybe we can. No member, member, member. Oh, all the way up to 18. We're going to see how far we get with just these. And so if you have six loads, five to six, you're going to get up to, to play it safe, I'd have six on you, six full loads. And we should be able to make it to, and that was the goal to get to 16. Crafting 16. Perfect. Plenty to spare. Now you can craft holy symbols. That's what we're going to work on next. And that'll be in the next video where I'll, I'll figure this out and we'll post it up and how to, how to do it and all the different steps. Because those are going to be nice, especially for Iron Man. I think you can sell those for a, a nice amount to vendor them. And we'll finish off with these. Might even get a little bit higher. Let's see. They seem all, seems awfully easy too. We'll compare it to the in the next video. I'll, I'll compare it to see how much exp we get for those uh, symbols. It's taken more and more here. It could take what? Quite a bit. We're looking at yeah, quite a bit. So there you go. Six of those. Uh, six. You know, six full loads just to be safe and you're going to get up to tier 16 tier 16 <laughs> level 16 of our crafting so that wasn't bad at all pretty easy not bad and but it was relaxing so i hope this helped and have fun enjoy and i'll be posting the part two it'll be like i don't know it'll pop up on the screen once i make it like right here or there at the end of the video have a good one enjoy and if I uh, if I didn't do something right, just let me know and I can either I'll remake the video if it's that bad or we'll go from there.